Hello, my name is Dr. Sheila Garrity. I'm a lecturer in early childhood studies at NUI Galway, and I'm the academic director of programs related to children in the Centre for Adult Learning and Professional Development. And through this presentation, I want to talk to you about our early childhood studies programs, our bachelor award, our master's award, our postgraduate award in play therapy, and also tell you a little bit about where our students go, so the career paths after leaving studying with us here at NUI Galway. So let's start by looking at our Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Studies. So this program was designed specifically for people who are in the existing workforce, people who want to upskill to a degree while they continue to work. So people may be working in creches or after schools, we've had childminders take this course, even people who are working as special needs assistants. So we consider that our students would be non-traditional learners. So perhaps they were happy with their vocational award and really hadn't planned on doing a degree, or maybe they thought it was unattainable. And we've designed that program to really support people who um, have a lot of responsibilities. So they're studying, they're working, they might have other caring responsibilities in their family. Um, and so we need to ensure that our degree is achievable for them, that it's flexible and that they can, they can do this alongside of their work. So it's a standard four year level eight honors degree. There's different ways to join the program and this program. So you can start in year one, which is the standard and application place. We also have a year two direct entry opportunity for people who might have a level six award with distinction in early childhood studies from, from the ETBs and who have ex experience of working in the sector. If you have a level seven ordinary degree, you might like to join the program at year three. So we have those direct entry routes. And then we have, as I said, exit awards. So when you complete year one of our program, you achieve a level seven certificate in early childhood studies. And that's recognized by the Department of Children and Youth Affairs as a minimum requirement to work in a registered early year setting. After you complete year two, you'll achieve your diploma and that's recognized to work in the funded preschool scheme. And of course, when you stay right through to the end, you achieve your degree. So some students maybe take breaks in their study, they opt out and go away for a year and come back. And that really, again, is that flexibility for people who have other responsibilities outside of study. Our program, as I said, is part time. It's flexible. It's really relevant to working in the sector. So it's really tied in to all the practice knowledge that that you need to have. And it's also building on that really experiential, that rich experiential knowledge that you have from being in the sector. It's delivered through a blended learning model, which is a mix of using our online repository, which is called Blackboard and meeting face to face with tutors and fellow students. So let me tell you a little bit about the modules that you'll look at, uh, you'll be studying in the first two years of the program. So because you're crossing that threshold into a university environment, we start off with introduction to learning, and that's really helping you to understand how to navigate our online repository Blackboard. It's helping you to understand how to write an essay to a university level. What is referencing? How do I reference properly? All those kind of questions that you'd have as you're coming to a university context. The other modules through year one are very much tied to practice. So health, hygiene, and nutrition, psychology, the developing child in year one looks at the first three years of a child's life when we explore traditional developmental theories, as well as looking at that really exciting emerging area of neuroscience in, in babies and young children. Creative development is an opportunity to apply all those theories to your, to your practice and think about how to support children to express themselves in a variety of ways. We take a rights-based approach to thinking about safeguarding young children. And so the Convention on the Rights of the Child really underpins that module and helps us to think about that being safe is a child's right as well as our responsibility. And all the modules in year one are underpinned by a reflective practice module, which is the work-based project. And that allows you to, to bring all the learning in the classroom into your workplace and make that connection between theory and practice and really reflect on your practice. So being a critical reflective practitioner is really strong aspect of working in the earlier sector and we build that right through our degree. So let's look at year two, our diploma year. This year in year two, you have five modules and we start off with um, continuing with that psychology um, module. So we're looking at children from three to eight years of age. And again, exploring those traditional um, theoretical understandings of children from a psychological perspective, but we're challenging that from the psych sociology of the childhood and that's those ideas that underpin Shilta and Astrid, the child as an active agent, the child who's a catalyst in, their own, in, in her or his own learning. We then have two lovely modules that work together, quality awareness and implementing the early years 
early learning curriculum. And those are really looking at Shield 10 Ashtar, as well as exploring other traditional curriculum approaches. So we look at Montessori, we look at um, high school, we look at Steiner, the Steiner approach and the Reggio approach. And of course, those modules are also uh, very much grounded in our new diversity, equality and inclusion charter and those lovely concepts that we have about the funds of knowledge and the child's individual identity. In year two, we have a really important module called the Child and Family in Irish Law, and our students always comment afterwards about how much they've learned about their legal responsibility when working with children and families in the Irish context, and again, grounded from the Convention on the Rights of the Child. And right through year, year two then, you're doing that reflection on practice, you're bringing your learning into your workplace, and you're bridging that theory to practice um, divide. So I won't go through the modules in year three and four, but we're pushing up away a little bit from direct practice oriented modules. And we're looking at things like management and leadership. We're looking at social policy, um, and we're moving into the research phase. So you're going to be exploring your research skills in year three and applying that through a dissertation in year four. So um, let me tell you a little bit about placement because that's an important element of any degree in early year sector. But for our program, we recognize that your workplace is your placement. So you're coming to us with a wealth of experiential knowledge. You're working in a setting every day and you're applying your, your learning to practice through the assignments that you're doing, through those reflective journals. So we respect that that is your placement and we don't expect you to leave that setting your setting to do an external placement. However, from, um, from September 2022, that will be changing. So the Department of Education and Skills has set out new, um, new awards, award criteria for professional awards in the early, early childhood sector, which will be impacting on our program. So this September will be our last intake of students who will be able to use their workplace as their placement, and 2021 will be our last intake of year two students. From September 2022, our program will continue, but we'll have a mix of students undertaking internal and external placements. So if being able to use your workplace for your degree is really important to you, this is kind of the last chance to come, come into the program under that model. We'll still be offering a degree. It'll still be um, a high quality degree recognized by the department, but that external placement will need to be part of it. And the DCYA have guaranteed that all graduates of programs that will be changing, the original graduates of the original program will still remain accredited and recognized. So I just wanna take you a little bit through how the year rolls out and how the modules roll out. So you'd have an understanding of how you'll be engaging with these modules. So you don't start September with all five or six modules lined up for you. We roll them out consecutively. So we see that it's about a six to eight week period that you're engaging with each module. We see that pre-workshop period where you're working independently by engaging with Blackboard. You'll have some tutor interaction. You might have um, tutorial sessions where you're engaging with your peers and you're really getting through the core content in an independent way with that support and maybe completing a small preliminary assignment. We then have the atten intensive workshop period where you're sharing with your peers and learning from each other as well as being led by the tutor and engaging with the content. You leave the workshop period um, and move into that closing post-workshop phase where you're completing a major assignment. You may, you'll have still have access to the tutor via Blackboard as you need um, and possibly preparing for exams. Not all modules have exams and that varies from year to year. Every module includes a, a bespoke manual that's been created by, uh, by our team here in the Center for Adult Learning and also the resources on Blackboard. And so some of that might be resources that are posted such as videos or articles to read. And then some of that are interactive sessions that you'll do with your tutor. So, you know, it's, it's you're working your way through one module and then moving on to the next in a, in a way that, again, is designed for that adult learner, the person who's juggling many responsibilities. And because we see our students as being non-traditional learners, we do build in an awful lot of supports. So in year one, you have that introduction to learning module. Year two, you have a mid-year support session to come in and get additional support on the academic learning. And then there's a whole lot of support offered through the programs. So um, in terms of working with our students, we see that you know sometimes you need flexibility around assignment dates. And as long as we have that communication, we can work with you and, and ensure that um, we support you to reach your goal. So if you'd like to find out more about our program, we have a lovely blog where we post students' work. And right now we're, we're posting a series of research briefs from our, our students who completed dissertations with us. And um, you can see that link there. You can just Google early childhood NUI Galway. 
So that's our Bachelor of Arts Award. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit now about our follow-on postgraduate awards. So we have a Level 9 Postgraduate Award in Early Childhood Studies. Like the BA, it's delivered, delivered flexibly over two years. We use a blended learning approach. We roll out the modules consecutively. So all the same ideas that I just talked about with the BA. And again, there's exit awards at three stages. For students who complete the master's degree, that's recognized by the Department of Children and Youth Affairs, the same as our BA for the higher capitation working in the funded preschool scheme. So this really suits somebody who maybe doesn't have an undergraduate award directly that's recognized or directly connected to early years, but maybe in an allied profession. These are really lovely it's a really lovely program for people who have done their degree with us or have done a degree in another institution. And so I just give you a taste of some of the modules in our, our level nine degree. So nine modules over the two years and kind of grouped around the child. So we begin by the historical understanding of the child and family in the Irish contents, context. It's really helpful to know where we've come to from to know where we're going. Children's Rights and Wellbeing is a lovely module that's delivered by Professor Noreen Hayes, and I'm sure anybody in the earlier sector knows Professor Hayes. We have a, an element of research, of course, because it is a master's degree, and our connection with the UNESCO Child and Family Research Center really underpins the research that we do. We have a lovely module then, again, around considering children as co-researchers. So that's that, again, the sociology of the child, the child as a rights bearer, and the child as a co-constructor of knowledge. And that's delivered by Daniel Kennan of the UNESCO Center. And then we have a number of modules that are related to your professional identity and your professional development. So that's our Master of Arts in Early Childhood Studies. And then we also have a Postgraduate Play Therapy Award. And this is offered at certificate and diploma level. Um, it's offered again in a very flexible way. So students come in for um, a summer school. We have, you have 15 days of um, intensive face-to-face um, -face teaching in the Play Therapy Award. And that can be done over a summer school of three weeks or delivered here on the campus or as five weekends, three day weekends. And those are delivered in Dublin and Cork. It's 20 months to complete this award and it um, involves clinical placement engaging in play therapy with young children. So I'd also just like to let you know that um, all of our all of the modules on the BA and MA can be undertaken uh, as a continuing professional development mo standalone modules where you join in with the existing course. So that's nice for people who maybe undertook their degree a few years ago and just want to maybe be refreshed. So again, I'd like to just touch on where our students have gone from leaving us. So we have a number of students who have, who have graduated and gone to work in childcare committees. Some are working with Pubble with Better Start and AIM as mentors. Others maybe are doing training around Children's First, um, Ashter and Shilta, and a number have gone into teaching in the ETBs in the LINK program. And we're really pleased to have two of our graduates come back to us and are now teaching in our degree here in, in NUI Galway. Um, some of our graduates have gone on to England and are now primary school teachers. So we did a recent survey and found out where everybody went and um, this is what we found out. So some are working as primary school teachers in the UK. We have two, two students who are working in international English language schools in China and Romania. And we have a number of students who have immigrated to Australia and New Zealand and are now working as early childhood educators. But what we really are pleased to know is that we have a very low attrition rate. So about 96% of students in, in our courses have remained in the early childhood or educational field. And a large number of them remain working in settings, working as leaders, pedagogical leaders or managers, working with families and children, which we know is so important in terms of having that knowledge come back into our sector and to support children and families. So our program is underpinned by a really strong philosophy and I know I'm coming to the end of my time so I won't go through that with you but just to say that you know all th all, not just the students are encouraged to reflect on their practice but all the lecturers in the program have a strong underpinning of, of the values that we hold and we continue to reflect on how we work with you um, and support you through your degrees. If you'd like to find out more about the program, you can reach me here. Um, and you can also contact my colleague, Valerie Kelly, who is the program coordinator and can answer lots of questions about how to apply, about subsidies, about all of those kinds of things. So I really enjoyed talking to you and sharing um, the information about these programs. And we certainly would welcome your application and look forward to meeting you here at NUI Galway.